Hey, it's Clyde Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol ATNM. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time frame, I think it does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. and really just makes mapping out levels of support and resistance easier to see. I have done this analysis before a, a week or so ago. So that's where these red and green line annotations are coming from. Uh, but I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. Very nice day today. So quite a few updates here need to be made. First thing I'm gonna do is a little house cleaning. So I'm gonna get rid of these green lines on here. Yes, they still pertain to the chart, uh, but from a presentation standpoint and not wanting a million lines everywhere that can cause clutter and confusion, want to try to keep this as clean as possible. And I'm also just going to get rid of this level right here. Again, yes, still pertains, but I just want to try to keep this very clean. So the first update, though, comes from a foundational principle in charting, which states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you want to see them act as support. So maybe the, uh, you remember the last video I did on this, and you remember me talking about $1.38 as resistance. Now that the price is above it, though, uh, this would be the ideal area of support. Best case scenario, meaning, hey, Clay, what would make this chart look the just most powerful? If the price can continue to hold above this $1.52-ish area, actually, let's just make it easy to remember. Let's just call it $1.50. If the price can hold up above $1.50, that would by far make the chart look the strongest. But, I mean, if the price breaks below it, by no means am I saying that everything's ruined or anything like that. From the big picture perspective, it's all about the purple line right there, which is the 50 period simple moving average. You can see a couple of times already, the bulls have done a fantastic job of holding it above there. Easiest way to look at that is, uh, and the very really simplistic way to look at that is, as long as the price remains above that purple line, which will continue to slope upwards, as the price is above it, bulls are in full health, bulls are in full control going forward. What about levels of resistance? Pretty straightforward in this situation, and that's gonna be right up here that we'll call it the $1.67 mark. I realize the price got a little bit above it a couple times, but on other times, the price didn't quite get up that high, so I'm just trying to split the difference there, and we'll, we'll call it a $1.67. Anyway, you slice it, though. Very, very nice day today, so it'll be interesting to see if the bulls can build upon this momentum going forward. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey, Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, by all means, click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.